So here we have a fragrance with notes of oud, rose, saffron, leather, geranium, patchouli. Here is one on the very mysterious and exotic side of things from the brand Cherrigan. This is called Adhara Oud. I'm excited to tell you all about this fragrance in just a little bit, so make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on this fragrance from the brand Cherrigan, this one is called Adhara Oud. I'm gonna tell you all about the notes, the performance, the longevity, comparisons, the uniqueness of the fragrance, because I do find this to be very much so on the unique side of things. But before I jump into the review, I do wanna mention that if you're a fan of fragrance-related content, hit the subscribe button, the bell icon, and also please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm. It would really mean a lot to me. So, Cherrigan Adhara Oud. This fragrance has oud, it has saffron, geranium. There is this leather accord in here, which is of course coming from the saffron. You have touches of patchouli in the dry down. And interestingly enough, as soon as I sprayed it on, I got something smoky from it. So it's, it's smoky, but in a leathery way. You have some leather fragrances that are smooth, you know, kind of like suede leather. You have some that are on the more pleasant side of things with kind of a velvety appeal. This one is certainly on the smoky side of things. So it's shrouded in mystery. Now this is an interesting blend. I'm going to tell you all about the smell in just a little while. Let's start things off with a quick look at the presentation first. Now, right in the opening of this fragrance, you are going to get this oud, rose, and leather combination. And of course, by leather, I mean saffron. Now, part of that leather accord, I'm gonna be honest, there could be a little birch tar, there could be a little cade oil, could be some cypriol in here as well, could be something spicy, something on the dark side of things, just to add that leathery component to the accord. So I am certainly picking up on that, and I think it's done in a very interesting, intriguing way. But the leather in this is quite pronounced. And of course, oud is already one of these heavy-handed ingredients where it's either love it or hate it, and people who love oud, they love oud, right? So here you take the oud and the leather, and you better believe this is on the dark darker side of things, but there's also this distinguished element about it. And not in an old school way, but more in like a classy, refined way. And I think the combination of the patchouli and the geranium really contributes to that. Now, geranium is one of these ingredients that has a bit of a rosy and a minty smell to it. If you've tried something like Geranium Pour Monsieur by Frederick Mall, you have a very good idea of what it smells like, and I'm getting that in here. So I love the transparency of the note breakdown. This is not one of those fragrances that leaves you feeling confused. It makes you feel like, wait, what's actually happening in here? Because the note breakdown doesn't really help me understand. No, no, no. This one, you look at the note breakdown, you're like, yep, I get leather. Yep, I get oud. Yep, I get this. And it's not too often that that happens. And I suppose in this case, you know, it helps that the note breakdown is not overly populated or dense. This stuff is really, really interesting. The only thing I would say is, I would prefer to wear this one in the colder weather. I think if somebody is gonna wear this one in the spring and summer, they have to apply lightly. And honestly, don't wanna apply too heavily with this one because it lasts a very long time. And I just had to double check the box to you know, remind myself it is Extrait de Parfum. So this is gonna last a very long time on your skin. No slouch in the performance department. Adhara Oud, this is a phenomenal fragrance, but of course it's going to be on the darker side of things. So you have to be a fan of oud and leather to really appreciate this fragrance and I certainly appreciate it very much so. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. So first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, this fragrance is unique. So here's the thing, there is a sea of perfumes on the market containing oud and rose, but the fact that this has the patchouli, that leather accord, the geranium, it opens it up in really wonderful ways and like I said, the leather in here is of this smokier variety. So you're gonna get something smoky about this. So if you have an aversion to even the tiniest amount of smoke or leather, you know what that means. But please try this one if you have the opportunity to do so. Definitely on the more mysterious and distinguished side of things. Very curious fragrance. In terms of the longevity, 10 plus hours, I would even venture to say 12 plus hours. Very long lasting stuff. More than three sprays. <laughs> is gonna really choke somebody out. I mean, try it for yourself. Don't trust me, don't take my recommendations. Please sample it for yourself. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Projection, super loud. It didn't even become an elbow zeng scent until around like hour 
nine or 10. This stuff is really strong. Versatility on this one, better for the cold weather, better for dressed up, perfectly unisex. And I think this one would appeal to somebody who's a little bit older, thus having more experience in dealing with niche perfumes and some of the more avant-garde expressions on the market. Presentation on this one is very nice. As you saw the presentation in the presentation segment. I think it looks very, very nice. Great atomizer. My final verdict on this fragrance is it's a dark, mysterious, yet sophisticated and elegant perfume. I'm excited for you to try it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you took something of value from today's episode. And if you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell and give this video a thumbs up for the algorithm as well. Thank you again so much for tuning in. Love you all. We'll see you tomorrow with a new episode. Bye.